It's a terribly sad statistic, but Toledo is ranked number one in the United States for human trafficking. But one local organization is here to help survivors. Tina Robinson is here from Butterflies 15. Good morning. Thanks for being here today. Good morning. So uh, you started this organization a few years back because um, you have uh, some experience with human trafficking. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm a survivor of human trafficking and recovering drug addict. Um, for the first 13 years of my youngest son's life, I was addicted to drugs. Mm -hmm. And God allowed me to go through certain things in life, I believe, mm -hmm. in order to be able to open this ministry and help ladies who are going through what I've been through. And so what, what kind of services do you provide for women? Um, we provide housing. Our program is a 9 to 12 month program. Mm -hmm. We um, help with uh, IDs, birth certificates, social security cards. We help them apply for different um, things like mm -hmm. um, medical, uh, dental, all that sure. kind of stuff. Um, we also help them with housing when they're about halfway through their program. We help them sign up for everything. First thing which was most important to us is helping them get um, trauma care. Mm. Um, Trauma-informed care is what's most important. Their mental health is what's, you know, if they can't get help with that and to move forward, and they're just going to go right back out. And keep falling back exactly. into that. Exactly. And uh, you mentioned things like getting social security cards, things like that. I mean, folks don't even realize when people that become a victim. That stuff is taken from Right. Them. They don't yes, even realize that. So uh, that's crucial, those services. So uh, you guys are, are going through some changes right now. Yes, And um, you're trying to raise some money here to be able to help more people. So tell me what your needs are right yes. now. Yes. Well, right now, um, we're doing renovations mm -hmm. um, to make the house more warm and, mm -hmm. and w helpful for the ladies. Mm -hmm. um, we are having a fundraiser called The Ball, and it's called Breaking the Chains as, mm -hmm. Chains as well. Mm -hmm. um, we are doing the fundraiser so we can help hire um, staff. Right now, I'm the only staff. Oh, and wow, it you has, need help. <laughs> yes, yes, and it's been that way for a little while. Sure. Um, people can purchase tickets mm -hmm. uh, on Eventbrite, mm -hmm. and we, it'll be at Lords University, so we're going to have a real good time. Um, Lords is my alma mater. Wonderful. So I'm an alumni, so that's awesome for me. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have a live band. Uh, Carmen Miller with the Overton Project will be there. Mm -hmm. We're having our food catered by La Petite. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're just going to have a really good time. We're going to have a silent auction. So um, we have two guest speakers who are survivors and okay. they would really want to share their story. Sure. And also they were our past residents as well. So people can learn not only about human trafficking mm -hmm. when they come to this event, but also about our program and how we've helped others. And so you, you said that you're going to have some, some former women who, who have been through the program. There's success stories here with what you have done with yes, these women. Yes, ma'am. Um, we've had uh, what we consider um, six success stories. Mm -hmm. um, most of the ladies that have been success stories um, have really, really good jobs, mm -hmm. one of which um, has been hired at Jeep mm -hmm. and doing very, That's very awesome. well. Um, yes, she got custody <laughs> of her son back. Wonderful. And has another son as well. Mm -hmm. We have ladies, um, all of them pretty much have a job now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and doing very well for themselves. Of course, there's been a few that have backslidden, yeah. but that's that's normal. It's going to happen, right. unfortunately. Unfortunately, but then we, we all we do is pray for them and mm -hmm. hope they move forward. Um, I'd like to share that how we uh, pay for our operational costs and stuff is by volunteering mm. um, with Mud Hens, Huntington mm -hmm. Center, um, all those kind of things like BJSU home football games mm -hmm. and Promenade Park um, concerts. So if anybody would like to volunteer for Wonderful. us and with us, mm -hmm. that'd be awesome because this is how we make the money to do operational costs. Right. And right now, how we've been able to do our renovations. Right. So uh, you can help in a number of ways. You can come out to the event. What what day and time is that? August 31st okay. from 6 to 9. At, the, at Lord's University, the Franciscan Center there. You can come out there, help support the program. Or you say, I want to help with my time. Exactly. Uh, and you can volunteer. Yes. So they can get, just give you guys a call? <clears throat> Correct. 419-480-7800. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if they can attend, mm -hmm. that's okay. You can also make a donation. We would appreciate that. 
Wonderful. All right, so uh, doing some great things in our community in an area particularly that we really need to work on, as we've known Correct. that. So um, you can be part of that change. I also wanted to let people know um, the attire is classy. It's okay. not ballroom classy, okay. <laughs> but it's classy. So dressed nicely. Yes, All exactly. Right. All right, thank you so much for coming Thank today. you, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yes, thanks for coming. You have a blessed day. Thank you. Well, when you're